All right, we are here for another versus video, and we are battling with modern this time. And uh, last time we asked for suggestions of what to play, and we ended up playing two completely wild decks that uh, some people did want to see some weird decks. So hopefully this is up your alley. But uh, we do have another modern video coming out in a couple of weeks that'll have probably some more uh, streamlined, serious <laughs> decks. But these decks both did top eight the last Premier IQ in Wooster that was. Almost 300 players. Yeah, so. nine rounds, almost 300 players. Uh, Brian is on an Esper Zur the Enchanter deck. Yep. And I am playing the deck that won the Premier IQ. I'm uh, really, I got to ask though, what's the deck? Like, the curiosity is killing me. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, it is a hoot. Don't Ooh, worry. Okay. Uh, yeah. We are on a Teamer Delver deck, sporting a full set of Hooting Mandrills. Hooting Mandrills. Along with some curiosity and some disrupting shoals. So and Simic Charm and Stubborn Simic Denial. Char oh yeah, we got a there's some, there's we got a great draft deck here. There's some wild ones in there. So we're ready to beat down. All right, let's uh, let's get to it. We are gonna do the classic four dice high roll. Yep, that's real loud. I think I got gotcha. you. He rolled two ones. You were just dead in the water. Yeah, we don't we didn't need to add that up. <laughs> I just lost really bad. So. I'll go first. All right. All right. Well, this hand actually looks really good, so I'm going to keep. This hand looks uh, interesting. Looks like the kind of hand I would expect to have in a Zerd the Enchanter deck. <laughs> <laughs> Fair I'll keep, enough. I'll keep it. Uh, well, I'm going to fetch. Yeah. I'm going to go to 17, because I think that I want to get a Steam Vents, and we're going to see our missions. This game's already over. He's at 17. This Zer is going to... Got him on a 17 turn clock. Got me on a clock. I wish that that had been a Delver of Secrets instead of a Serum Visions, but... I'm glad that it's not. It is. Serum Visions is food for the monkeys, so... Yeah. Right, so we will draw a card. Oh, that's actually really good. And then we'll scry two. Now, I played Preordain this last weekend, so I'm used to the other way around. <laughs> and I think that I just want to bottom both of these, um, maybe. Okay, I just want to draw some more lands. Like, we're going to fetch next turn and shuffle them back in, which is fine. So I think I'd rather just have shot at some more lands. Yeah, so we'll bottom both. And Done. I'll pass. Draw. All right. Uh, that's not a terrible draw, actually, for us. I'm going to go ahead and duress you. All right. Well, you get a Bolt or a Mana Leak. All right. Well, we definitely... And they're both going to grow the time of life. <laughs> or let me cast any Mandrels. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that we're more afraid of that mana leak. So let's go ahead and take mana leak and say go. All right. So we draw, that card's pretty good. So I think that we just want to play a Tarmogoyf here. But I'm not sure if I want to just get a, yeah, I think getting a basic forest is fine. Then that way, if he paths, the goif, then we get to go get a another basic. All right, so we'll just get a forest and play the goif. Sure. And then it'll be your turn. So there's a 3-4 right now? Yeah. Draw. Let's see if we can get that Tarma goif dice. All right. Uh, this is not what we wanted, but it is a card that we drew. You're up. All right. So I'll draw. Let's see here. Pre combat hooting modules. Yeah. Exiling everything. Um, let's go ahead and. I'm going to pay two and probe you. I want to see what you got going on. All right. Well, we have a Geist, a Tazagur, a Zer the Enchanter, and three Lance. <laughs> Ooh, that's not looking pretty good for you. No, so it's I'll, not. I'll draw no, it's the not. probe. It's not. All right. So you're at 14. Yep. And then we're going to battle for three. 17. Wouldn't you rather battle for Zendikar? I would, but that's not for a couple months. And then I'll pass the turn. All right. I'm going to fetch under turn. Go to 16 and get a Godless Shrine. <clears throat> we're going to hopefully draw some sweet things. 
<laughs> we do have enough. He is at 14. Uh, this, you got me. You got me low. This Geist could uh, could do some dirty work. Geist is good, that's for sure. All right, come on, deck. Let's draw something sweet. Huzzah! That's actually pretty good. <laughs> that is actually a good draw. Um, hmm. Well, I could play Geist here, but I kind of just want to play Tazigar. He didn't cast his Hooting Mandrel, so he probably drew another Mana Leak, but uh, I'm just going to do it anyway. So let's go to 15. I'm going to go to Plains and cast Tazigar. Hmm. Ooh, Manalik. It's very unfortunate the for Jassiger, us. And that grows the goif. <coughs> All right, and that's it for me. All right, so we'll draw. That's not bad, actually. Ooh, I could also, I can thought scour you to get enchantments into your graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. So I think that here we want to just do this. Although saving this means that we're protecting it from, like we can protect from a path to exile. So I would have to exile Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so we're just going to battle. Okay, I'm at 11. Four. So we'd have to leave five cards. We could leave a sorcery. Puts the glyph back down to a one. Put it down to a two. That's right to a two. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. All right, so we're going to mandrels, and I'm going to leave a sorcery in the graveyard. Okay. It'll be your turn. All right. Well, let's tap and draw. Hmm. This will actually potentially be good next turn, but I'm actually just going to zero it up this turn. Zero it up and say go. Okay. Well, here we get to. Lightning bolt him. Good. I'm at eight. Puts him at eight. So now he actually has to chump block here. If we can get something into our graveyard. Don't draw a fetch land. I will attack. Well, actually, let's do this first. Uh, I'm going to pay two and probe you. I'll go to 12. Attention sphere spreading suits. Okay, so I'll draw <clears throat> off the probe. Don't draw a fetch line. <clears throat> <clears throat> so the, the thing is here, I can attack. He's just going to block here regardless. So it's probably better to just do this now and see what we get. Scour? Yeah, I'm going to scour myself. Sure. Perfect. And I'll draw a card. Well, that's just pretty gross, actually. The opposite of what I wanted to happen. Come on, sir. Pull it together. Pull it together, <laughs> buddy. You got this. Maybe I should have hit you since you likely have more lands in your deck than I do. Oh, I also could have been an enchantment. Yeah, I should have hit you. Like, I only had a land that was live in my deck. That was a mistake. All right, well, I'm just going to attack. I'll attack with just the Hooting Mandrels, then. Down to four. 
Cast another Hooting Mantle, exiling a graveyard. No, no it's your turn. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Draw. All right, so let's go ahead and play Iganjo Castle and start with a Detention Sphere. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh, we'll exile Hooting Mandrels. Sure. I'm going to attack with Zur. Okay. And I'll search up the Detention Sphere exiling Tarmogoyf. Okay. Alright, so you take one. Yep, 11. So your time <coughs> shines there. That's what you were born for. <laughs> Man. Yeah, definitely a mistake. I should have discovered you instead of me. And I'm going to attempt to spreading seizure or steam vents. Uh, I'm going to disrupting shoal. Pichina disrupting shoal. <laughs> okay. That's been countered. And uh, here go. Here go, home smusher. Sure. Actually, we'll just do two of them. Okay. It's your turn. All right. Let's see what we draw. Draw. Okay. It's not not what the doctor ordered. You have one card left. Uh, well, two. One that you don't know. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start by attacking with Zer and. <clears throat> well, I can either get steal the Godhead. <laughs> Go up to six. This is oh wait, go to that would go to seven, right? Seven, but that's still lethal with that thing. So I'm just gonna actually get <laughs> that's a god of the sea. Yeah. That I can use to block his hooting mandrels <laughs> once I play this Geist of Saint Traff. All right, so you take one. Yeah. You're down, to, <laughs> down to ten. <laughs> uh, this is just way too good. This is way too good. I'll play Geist of St. Traft. Yep. And uh, I'll pull it to Delta. Here you go. Was that the card you drew? This turn? The, the last turn? No. Okay. But, yeah, you must have drawn it this turn then, so you would have been dead if I scoured. You would have had to block if I scoured you. Yes, yep. Ugh, it's real gross. Is it? I think it's great. Ugh! <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> this is just so wrong. All right, so do I just, do I, just I mean, snap probe, I'm just actually dead because you can just give your guys unblockable. Actually, I'm just dead regardless. Yeah, I'm just actually dead. You can give two creatures unblockable. Sweet. <laughs> just draw four disrupting shells. That Your is hand is delight. mono threes, and I don't have any in my deck. <laughs> That's a god of the sea. Getting the job done. All right, we're back for a game two. Hopefully it's as much of a delight as the first. Yeah, let's see if I can play correctly and not just give the game away. And this hand is actually really good, so I'm going to keep. This hand looks a lot like our last one. I'm going to regrettably keep. <laughs> All right, well, I think that I want to start out with a probe. <clears throat> All right. I'll draw off the probe. Spell Pierce just got a lot worse. <laughs> right, I'm going to fetch for an island and just play Adelro Secrets. And then it'll be your turn. I will play. Actually, <coughs> I should just play Polluted Delta. Yeah. I can fetch an island if to spell pierce if I need to, but if not, I can fetch a real land. So. All right. Upkeep. Delver trigger. Yep. Till it feels like standard. It does. All right. I'll draw. Somehow, I think my odds of winning this game are pretty low. <laughs> I will play a Wooded Foothills. Sure. I'll attack for three. I'm at 17. And 
I think that I actually just want to play this. So I'm going to fetch to 15. And we're going to get a stomping ground and play a Tarmogoyf. Okay, I'm going to fetch down to 16 and get a Hallow Shaman. <clears throat> You know about the mana lake. I do know about the mana lake. And Goyf is currently a 2 3. We have the dice somewhere. Alright, draw. Not what the doctor ordered. Play Gallo Shrine to go. Come back. Yep. Five. Eleven. Go ahead. Draw. Hmm. Well. Man, if I just cast Geist, it just grows his Goyf by two, though. It's so gross. You can cast that, so let me grow by three. Yeah, I could do that, too. <laughs> I think I just actually have to say go. <clears throat> Not what I wanted to do, but we're just actual dead if we try to cast this ball into the mana leak. Combat. Sure. Five. Yep, I'm at six. Uh, I'll pass the turn. All right, that's a card that could become a start. Um, well, actually, I'm not sure that it can become a Sort of. Probably should have did that this turn. Try and hit a land. That was a mistake. All right, Geist of Saint Draft. Geist of Saint Draft. Yep. Sure. Go ahead. And step all cast on Caster Mage. I will spell Pierce it. Right, that's fine. Does a spell snare to work? True. The spell snare would work. Draw card. Oh, that's just what the doctor ordered. All right, well, we're going to go to 13 and probe you. Okay. Mana Lake Steel, the Godhead. <clears throat> Combat. Yep. I think you're actually. Ju no, you're not dead. Block. Maybe you are. If you have, an, if you have like a bolt or something, I'm dead. Well, I have. Well, you have Spell Pierce. But I have to fudge for it. Oh yeah, well, I'll thought scour myself. Yeah, I have to let that resolve. And that kills you, right? No, yeah. is this... this is oh, that's instant. instant. Yeah, yeah, it's an instant. I mean, I also have a bolt, but... Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, was... Like, I had, I had a mana leak with the Delver. I even had another Delver, just never drew a third land to cast it. You still had all these, Mr. Zer the Enchanter. <laughs> I, I had a lot of cards, too. You did. They did great, man. All right, we are back for sideboarding. For myself, I'm going to be bringing in uh, a lot of removal here, so a lot of, like, anti-creature stuff. So we have uh, two Wraths, two Dismembers, uh, two Timely Reinforcements, and then past that point, uh, Rest in Peace is going to shut off his Tarmogoyfs and Hootings. Uh, Threads of Disloyalty is still Goyf, Steel... Um, of the Godhead, uh, <laughs> we can still Delver of Secrets. Yeah, we can still Delver and Goyf, um, and then a Kitchen Finks just to provide a blocker and some life, and then a Dispel, which is um, one mana counter spells I like because I can counter, you know, Thought Scours, Mana Leaks, things like that. I'm keeping in Spell Pierce as well for the same reason, but I'm cutting these other ones. I mean, Spell Snare is also a one mana counter spell, but it's really awkward. Like Snapcaster and Goyf's pretty much all it hits, and mm -hmm. um, I think that this is the most overrated card in Modern. I I don't think that Spell Snare is a good card in Modern, and everyone plays it, um, and it's just very rarely impressive. Uh, I win lots of games where my opponent ends the game with two Spell Snares in their hand, and likewise, every time I play a deck that has the card, I usually lose with two in my hand at the end of the game. It's really easy to play around if you know if you have a chance to look at your opponent's hand, and he has Gitaxian probes. Uh, Spreading Seas is because he is a, an aggressive deck that is blue heavy, so it's not really that good against him. And then Manaly, because it's just really slow. And then one of each of these, 
so that we don't get draw too many of these types of cards. Fair. As for myself, I'm not really sure how to sideboard. Uh, number one, this deck is pretty unconventional. Yeah. Number two, I'm playing against another unconventional deck. Yeah. So we're going to experiment a little. Um, these Shoals and Snapcaster Mages just felt real worthless in my hands the first two games. Um, You're not countering Xur? Yeah, the... like he's just a bunch of you know fours and, and threes, and we don't have many of either of those. So we're going to get rid of those. Uh, I don't like the curiosities against deck with spot, decks with spot removal or, or you know wrath effects potentially post-board. Mm -hmm. And Simic Charm... Um, I just think two mana, most of the time I'll use as an unsummon. I'd rather just have a Vapor Snag instead. Yep. Uh, likewise, I want a one mana removal spell with Dismember. Uh, Destructive Revelry is ways to handle his enchantments. Um, two Huntmasters uh, is just ways to try and combat Wraths. Um, and I'm also going to bring in three Blood Moons and just try and get them. So, seems seems uh, fine, yeah. Whenever you have Blood Moon in the sideboard of, the, of your deck and you're playing against decks that have like, you know, anywhere between like one and four basics, I like to side it in for the first post board game just to keep them honest. Um, like Brian knows I have it and, you know, he's a good player, so I imagine I'll probably just get basics anyways. Uh, and if we see him getting basics in the next game, then we can side them out for the next post board game. But I like you don't put it in your sideboard to not bring it in against people that it's it's going to just actually beat. So. Even if I try to play around it, I mean I still only have four basics in my deck. Yep. I'm never like I can't cast this card if you blood moon <laughs> me. I can never cast this card if there's yeah. a blood moon in play. Like yeah. there's a lot of cards in my deck that I can actually never cast. If Blood Moon is in play, so yeah. so it's, it's still worth just trying to get them. Yep. So, <laughs> so that's that's how it's. We're gonna try it. More than likely, we'll change the sideboarding plan for the next game. Uh, that's one of the fun things about playing, you know, sweet, innovative decks like this is you get to mess around with the configuration. I'm I'm pretty dubious on these Huntmasters in the 17 land deck, but I mean he has four of them in the sideboard, so I imagine they're there for a reason. So let's try it out. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, we're here for game three, and I get to be on the play. And all right, we'll give it a shot. It's a uh, little loosey. Well, I think this hand is a little loose too, but I don't think we can mulligan it. Uh, we have these, which is perfect, and then these guys to draw into. We just have to hit some lands, and we have the tools to do so. All right, I'm gonna go to 17 life, get a Gala Shrine, dress. All right, well, which one of these guys do you want? All right. Probably just the Serum Visions, right? <laughs> Let me find this Godless Shrine first. Um, yeah, I mean, he only has one land, so uh, we'll take the Serum Visions and hopefully try to deny him a bit on finding more lands to cast his guys. Don't worry, I'll be stubborn. Go. Can we draw? Just the perfect card. I don't think I want to Thought Scour yet. Although, it would be awkward if our Thought Scour does get Spell Pierced. Oh, oh, wait, go ahead. Untap draw. Delightful. Go. All right, well, we're going to scour ourselves. Sure. Woo. Jigs up. All right, I'll draw from the scour. Blood Moon. Draw for turn. This isn't supposed to be in my deck. Hold on. Yeah, there's only 14. <laughs> what was it? This Simic Charm wasn't okay. supposed to be in the deck. All right, just draw another That's one. what I get for not Pile Shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> it's really awkward because there was a Simic Charm on top of my sideboard. And I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, there's two of them. Just didn't, didn't take one out. All right. Lucky. Yeah, it was pretty lucky. All right, so we're just going to fetch here. Okay. And I'll go to 17. And we will get a green blue duel and play this Tarmogoyf. Okay. And I'll pass the turn. Um, I think he's going to get path to exiled here. I don't really want to give him another man, <laughs> <hand>, though. <laughs> How big is this book? He's probably big. Oh, yeah. Uh, enchantment, Sorcery, Instant Land. So four. The fact that he's a four or five and he has Stubborn Denial on his hand, I probably just have to path it now. So. All right. And not wait. Let you get an, 
another land, and I'll draw. Whew. All right, so that ended up being a very good decision. I'll fetch an. Oh no! What? Thought there was a mountain in this deck. I was just gonna go get the mountain when you pathed it, but there's not. <laughs> well, that's, that's unfortunate for you. Yeah, I, was, I guess I should have got something else. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fetch an island and cast Thassa. <laughs> this deck doesn't have a mountain in it? I could have sworn there was a mountain in this deck. I guess it's just two islands in a forest. It's a little awkward, I guess. Is it as awkward as a nasty fast against an empty ward? Oh, Gal. nasty T. Nasty T. Alright, I'll draw a card. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Got 15. 15. We're gonna hunt master of the fells. Okay. Trigger. And I'll gain two life. So 17. We'll go up to 17, and then it'll be your turn. All right, I will scry. It <laughs> doesn't quite work, so we'll bottom that. <laughs> draw for turn. Come on deck, draw. Dang it. Are you not going to cast a spell this turn? No, I'm going to cast a spell. Yeah. It's just not what I want to do. Oh, man, I can wait until you scry to the top and then mill you. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> All right, well, I just have to detention sphere this hunt master. Oh. Not the line I wanted. Go. Are you going to destructive rubber yet? Maybe. Draw how did, a card. How did this game go so bad? <laughs> how did it go so south? We were doing so well. All right, so I think that... I don't think I want to pay life for this. So I'm just going to probe you. Dang, now the jig's up. Oh, damnation. Oh, jeez. All right, I'll draw off the probe. Yep. All right, I'll play a land. <clears throat> Battle for two. Fourteen. I was really hoping you'd miss some land drops in your... Uh... Yeah, Fourteen? <laughs> yeah. Three, four, five, six, yeah. No, but I missed like yeah, my 17 land deck. <laughs> when you kept that one lander. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is, it is I. Delver, sure. Play a Delver of Secrets. Sure. And then I will pass the turn. All right, we'll scry <coughs> with Thassa. What Bottom are you doing it. with it? Bottom, all right. You don't need to use this Thought Scout. Right, right. draw this. You seem to be the one who is a little mana screwed. It is true, actually. <laughs> well, he has Stubborn Denial, which is really gross. And he only has one other card in his hand. Well, I just have to cast Lunaring Souls. If he wants to deny me, he can. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I just have to counter that. Yeah, because I, I can counter it, and then I can flip my Huntmaster on my turn if I do this as well. So... Alright, well before I tap any of my mana, I'm going to fetch, because I don't remember what lands are in my deck. I really thought I'd find a fourth land with uh, Active Thassa, but alas... Two. Yeah, 14. Yeah. We will stumber denial that. Go. And then end step will destructive rubbery the sphere. Puts you at 16. Puts me at 12. Or 12. I went the wrong direction. Trigger. You go to and 16. I go to 16. Go. All right. So you only have one card in your hand, Thought Scour? Yep, just Thought Scour. Upkeep. Right, don't flip. Delver Trigger. Don't Mana Leak. Mana Leak. Do I want 
to yeah. Okay, no flip. It'll stay there. Okay. I'll draw. We'll attack you for seven. Down to five. I'll pass the turn, upkeep, scry this. This resolves first. Yep, so I'll go to three. Take two and go to three. Uh, your scry is fine. Scry. Bottom it. Yeah. Don't have it. Or you, well, you can draw into it, but you, you can't already have it. So, well, damnation. So he didn't draw a spell, so. But he can thought scour and find a. Something. I'll respond. Yep. My so. I had to bottom a dark slick shores. <laughs> yeah. Do I hit myself or no? I think you always just scour yourself, right, with these decks. Probably. I mean, I have lingering souls in my deck too. Like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Draw. Come on. Don't be lightning bolt. Yep. All right. Damnation's good. Just need, I just need a brick. I just need to dodge for like two turns. So I can cast this my turn? and then attack. The, yeah, go. Don't. All right. Bad. Go ahead. <clears throat> it's bad. All right. Untap scry. Wow. Oh, how big is this guy? Instant, creature, sorcery, land, enchantment, 5-6. Yeah. All right, scry that. So you bottomed yeah. this scry? And I'll okay. drop this. Have you bottomed every single scry since Thoss has been in play? <laughs> he, that thing's a 5-6. Yeah. I think I bottomed every single scry, yeah. All right. Inquisition of Kozla, you. That's why I didn't play my land, because I knew he had an Inquisition. It's an island. Flashback. I can't cast Zerr because then I just have to chump Goyf. Oh man, I like the flashback. <laughs> All right, so let's get two spirits and say go. All right, let's flip this Delver. Trigger. Don't flip the Delver. All right, I won't flip the Delver. Okay, great. I'll draw a card. Is it because it doesn't flip on Blood Moon? <laughs> <laughs> um. Do I also attack with this Delver? I think I do, just to entice the trade. Yep. All right. Go, go. Delver. Okay. Uh, don't you save the fetch in case? Oh, I guess you're scrying to the. You can scry. It's like, don't you save the fetch to do a tandem with your scry? But that makes no sense. All right. I will save the fetch though, because I've already scryed a lot of really, really crappy cards at the bottom of my deck. So, scry, top, draw it. I know your hand is an island, right? Yep. I guess I should have played it. I'll fetch. Give it two. Lands. Lingering Souls flashback? Nope. And so, his hand is an island, let me know that for sure. I'm going to cast Stir the Enchanter. I'm gonna hope for one huh. more miracle. Oh, you drew a path to exile. I did see. I, so, you, I, so you need me to not I flip draw? this Delver. Did I draw? Well, you can flip the Delver. That's fine. It just can't be on a spell that kills me. Because Zerk can block that crap. Oh, he has flying? Yeah, he has flying. Whoa. My turn? Your turn. All right. So I'm gonna wait for the trigger. I'll keep trigger. Yeah. No reveal. Okay, well, <laughs> he could be just like trying to level me here. This is really hard. So it's possible that that's a spell and he's just not flipping on purpose so that I don't cast the path now and then he can draw like a counter spell and counter my path and kill me. Uh, that would be like a super next level play. <laughs> it might also just be like a land or like a blood moon or something around. I mean, if this is a mana leak, I'm 100% not revealing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm actually still going to just path your charmer wave now. All right. And we're going to hope that he doesn't draw like a lightning bolt. It was a land. Okay. 
I don't think I have another basic in here. Wait, I do. I got a forest. Uh, it's certainly like it feels wrong to do that when he doesn't reveal, but I, there's there's a, there's a number of like spells he could draw where he would just choose to not reveal. Because the difference between a flipped Delbert and a non flipped one is almost irrelevant right now. All right, so this is still tapped. Yep. All right, we get to draw a fresh card. All right, don't do it. I think I just do this now. Right? What's the benefit of waiting? I can hit your scry if you top it. But if I draw into like Goyf or Mandrills or Huntmaster, I want to play it now. Yep. Uh, I will Thought Scour myself. Sure. Brick. Brick. Is the guy have Hexproof? He does not have Hexproof. All right, well, we're going to kill this guy. All right, I'll go to one. <laughs> and I'll go to six. I'll put you at one. <laughs> I'll play this island, let you know. Go ahead. All right, come on, Scry. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Is this card good right now? Oh, you are you kidding me? <laughs> I'll go to seven. Wow. Go. Wow. All right, Delver. Perfect. I don't think you can attack me. You're at six, right? Oh, I am at six. I have a carpet. Oh, jeez. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> wow. Scry to the bottom. Wow. Draw. Oh, I don't have enough to do it. <laughs> That's stubborn <Jeffrey> denial. <laughs> Got me. Uh. I think I just, rather than attacking the Creeping Tar Pit, I think it's better to just dismember your Insectile Aberration. And then attack you for three. I'm at three. Go. <laughs> wow. All right, we're back for a game four. Game four. I'll be on the play. <laughs> and, oh man. All right, so <laughs> if we hit a blue land, then this hand is great. If you hit a blue land? <laughs> yeah. If I, I got a couple draws to it, and we even have a castable spell. Yeah, why not? This okay. is this is this is the BBD keep. All right, this hand is called "Don't Void Me," Ca choosing the number three. three. <laughs> I mean, that's your entire deck. <laughs> yep. All right, we're gonna pay two and probe you. Three, 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 and three lands. Oh, that's gross. At least these are all good ones. All right, well, I'll draw off my probe. Sure. Must be. <laughs> Is. <laughs> uh, although you have threats of disloyalty. Still your turn with. <clears throat> Go ahead. That was a good draw. Go. I'll scout myself when you're in step. Sure. Can't throw to disloyalty of Hooting Mandrels, though. Damn right. <laughs> Damn right you can't throw to disloyalty of Hooting Mandrels. <laughs> so you're at 16. 16. Go ahead. You have a detention sphere, but... I do have a D-sphere. 
Ooh, do another card that costs three. <laughs> three pieces of mana. Um, hmm. <coughs> well, he has. This is an interesting. I don't want to give him extra lands, though. Do you have a path? Yeah. Come on, hit me. <laughs> I'm just going to say go, and if he counters my path, that's fine, because I have so many other good cards in my hand. My turn? Yep. Drop. Combat. Sure. All right. Fetch, planes, path. And I'm fetching a planes because we saw Blood Moon last game, so... I don't want to get mooned out of the game. All right, well, I'm just going to go get... Have a lot of. He, oh, he's definitely got Hunt Master. He's allowing Path to resolve and gets a gets a forest. That, that, that feels suspiciously like a Hunt Master of the Fells. All right. Well, I can play this Tarmogoyf, but then it just likely gets threads. Am I fine with that? Go ahead. No, the answer is no. Um, I'm going to fetch an eight, go down to 18 and get an island. So now here's the question. What do I cast? Anything in your deck, really. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can, can cast any of these six cards in my hand that all cost three mana. <laughs> Uh, actually, I can't cast some of them. They're on targets, but. And you can put detentions for in play. That's fine. It's, it's, it's one of these two. I kind of just want to get. I, I don't think that this card is just going to get go all the way for us. So I kind of just want to play Thassa. Yep. Go ahead. Just start getting a scry going. Get our scry on. That might be think, wrong, but... I think that I want to do this. No, I just have to sit on it. Mm, it's not bad. I'll take it. I'll scare myself. Sure. There's that moon. Fourteen. Sure. Hoot and Go ahead. Hoots. He's a hoot. he's a hoot. It's a real hoot. All right. That's a scry. Huh. <coughs> I don't think this is the card we want right now. So I'll bottom that. I'll draw this. Interesting. Um. I like how Thought Scour is like Dark Ritual for the Delve spells. Yeah, it is. So I can Detention Spheres, Hooting Mandrels. Do it. And cast one of these free, numerous other spells. I think. Hmm. I could Timely for three creatures, but I don't get anything other than that. Seems fine. Yeah. Sure, it seems fine. All right, I'll just attention sphere this guy. Yep. It's probably not the best play, but go ahead. Just get it off the table. <coughs> All right, 
here I think that we just hunt master. Yep. And I'll go to 16 and it's your turn. All right, so we will reveal this. This and is actually a pretty good draw. I'll draw that as my draw for turn. Is it a land? Yep. Oh, I'm just gonna get Zura out there. Go. Hopefully Zura can start doing some work. <clears throat> All right. Another draw card. Yep. Oh, that's another good draw. Uh, I will go to combat. Sure. I'm just going to take it here because I don't want to get bolted. Might as well get bolted. Right, so you go to 14. Although, actually, <coughs> no, I'm going to I'm gonna block Hunt Master. Because if he has bolt, he can just flip bolt anyway. So I might as well just... I see you at 16. Yeah, might as well just soak it up if it, this happens. Okay. So let's do this then. I'll uh, bolt the Zer. Okay. And I'll play a Tarmogoyf. Sure. And then it'll be your turn. Okay. <coughs> Untap, scry. Uh, well, we can't cast this, and I don't think it's very good right here, so. Uh, I'm gonna, I bolt the Zer with this. Sure, that's fine. Definitely changes. Draw this. Okay. That was a good draw. I'll position you. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, Threads of Disloyalty and Detention Sphere. That's kind of gross. Oh, how big is Goyf? 3 4. For now. Uh, I'll take Destructive Revelry. I'm gonna have to fight through those two revelries in all time. Let's see. Oh wait, we're both at sixteen. Yep. It's kind of gross. <clears throat> Thanks for blocking my hunt master. No problem. If that was a thought seize. <clears throat> it's true. If that was thought seize. Well, I'll th I'll go ahead and thread your charm with. I mean, he can only kill one of our two things, so. Um. And let's see, you know, these. Here we go. All right, so we'll draw. It's not bad, actually. So I think here we can revelry the threads and then attack him for four. Is that better than just... Okay, I read the threads, attack for four. I feel like that he would have souls there. Well, the, the I think they would have souls there Unless he had a removal spell, like a damnation or something. So it might be better to flip the Huntmaster. No? No. I'll no, just do this. Yeah, I'll revelry the threads. Cut 14. Check 14. Now he goes to 4 5. Mm -hmm. I'll take you for 4. 10. 10. And then it will be your turn. <clears throat> All right, let's scry with Zer. Thassa. Huh. Or yeah, scry with Thassa. Actually, I think I should have sided out the Blood Moons for this game. Definitely gonna do it for the last game, since you're just fetching all basics. I think I bought him that. Because I don't think that's the kind of card we're looking for right now. Um. Instant. This seems okay. Sorcery, land, creature, enchantment. Oh, he's actually a 5 6. Right, I'll cast timely reinforcements. Alright, so you go to 16. Yep, I go to 16, I get three soldiers. 
<sighs> and then I'm gonna just pass the turn. Okay. So I th I kind of want to just attack with the goif and the wolf here, and then try and flip my hunt master. Which is what I think I'm gonna do. Combat. Okay. Just these two. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Sure. Oh yeah, I can't cast a spell because I'm gonna flip out master. I will play a land though. Okay. Uh, and I'll pass. I'll fetch down to fifteen and get a hallowed fountain. Yep, so I'll go to 13. And scry. Uh, yep, we don't need that, so we'll bottom that and draw this. Huh. Well, it's not quite going to be good enough. Uh, this card actually seems really good in this matchup, since the games are like long and grindy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really just... Huge thorn on my side. Maybe it's just like he had the Hunt Masters there against the decks with Path. Probably, yeah. I'll cast Lingering Souls. Want to flash it back? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I kind of do, but I, I don't want to flip your guy back. But you could just double spell yourself. So I, I'm actually just going to flash it back. So. Yep. Go. All right. So we'll untap. We'll... I think I'll. F oh, yeah, I, I, I do want to fetch you, so I'll go to 15. 15. And we'll get another steam vents, I think. <coughs> Finding something like a stubborn denial would be really good at this point, now that I have this big Tarmogoyf. Yep. That way it'll protect me from something like Rest in Peace or Damnation. All right, upkeep. Trigger. Yep. So you're at 17. Get a wolf. <clears throat> I'll draw a card. Yep. It's actually not bad. Okay, so. I just want to flip this Huntmaster again. <laughs> and I think I want to sit on this one in case he does have a Wrath. So maybe I just attack with Goyf and Wolf. Just do it again. I think so. <clears throat> Maybe I just make him be the one that has to cast a spell next turn. Although I feel like he's probably just going to cast a spell regardless. I'm going to go to combat. Sure. We're just going to attack with these two and see what happens. I'll show him Take two. I'm at 11. Huh, he didn't try and kill my wolf. Alright, well, I'm gonna take two and see what you got. Steal the Godhead and Geist. Alright, well, that's probably why. So, what does it do if, if they're white? Uh, lifelink. Okay, so I'll draw off my probe. That's actually a pretty good draw. We 
we're gonna hoodie mandrels. You have everything over there. I have. I don't. It's everything. I, yeah, you have instant sorcerer creature land and enchantment over there, right? Yeah. Do a hooting mandrels. Sure. And I'll pass the turn. All right. Come on, Thassa. Um. Hmm. Might not actually be that bad. Although I'm out of basics, so if they go to eight. All right, I'm gonna bottom it because I don't think that's gonna win us the game. Draw this. I don't think that's gonna win us the game either. But we'll cast a ghost. Mm -hmm. Uh, go ahead. So, do I want to throw any of these lightning bolts anywhere? I think that I should probably try and bolt you. Yeah, I'll bolt you. Eight. It was just the actual perfect draw. Works for me. Um. Attack with just Hunt Master. Just yeah, actually, just the master seems like the perfect attack. Yeah. Uh, combat. Sure. I think I'm gonna leave the master back. Let's attack like this. Uh, <clears throat> block and block. I'll just block this up. Okay. So these guys trade. You take four. Down to four. All right. I'm gonna pass the turn. Good. Okay. Upkeep. This is gonna trigger. Yep. I'm at two and I'm kill a spirit, and then I'm also gonna bolt you. Alright, I'll scry to the bottom, and then be dead, and then draw a spell. I'll spell pierce that. Oh, yeah, it's just <laughs> the actual perfect draw at this point. <laughs> All right, we're here for game five, and I get to be on the play. And I uh, cut the three blood moons since BBD is too good to get got by the blood moons for two hunt masters and a snapcaster mage, all right. which are all good cards when I'm being pathed. This hand is uh, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it. Um, I, actually, this hand's really good, so I'll keep. I got eighteen. Damn it! That's an awkward one. Um, Well, this makes our plan really awkward. Oh, you, you mean Mana Leak's good against a deck with 15 three mana spells in it? Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty good against a deck with a bunch of three mana spells. Uh, well, I think I have to take Mana Leak. All right. Well, that means he probably has a path, which is going to make my Huntmaster sweet. Draw a card. I thought we could draw Mana Leak. It would have been Justice. I don't, think, fetch. I don't think that's how justice works. You don't? No, I don't. Why not? I'm going to play a Delver Secrets. Sure. Go ahead. Draw. Oh, well, that's not it. Um... What have we got over there? Zero the Enchanter. Go. Guess you don't have a path then? Uh, trigger? Yep. No reveal. Go. Combat. 
Uh, 17. So, I'll shock myself. You're at 17. And I'll pass. <coughs> Draw. Oh, draws not been great. I will fetch. Fetch the planes, go to 16, and cast guys to St. Oh, don't know if I can beat that. And I'll say go. So I didn't path this Delver because I didn't want to get him to cast Hunt Master, basically. <laughs> I will Lightning Bolt you. I'm at 13. We may just die to the aggression, though. Upkeep Delver. Come on. No reveal. Perfect. Hope your hand's just a bunch of uncastable Hooting Mandrels. <laughs> Hope it's just three hooting mandrels. Right, it's definitely not. It's a fetch line. Right, Sixteen. I have to decide if I want to get another island here and just take less damage. <clears throat> Guys, the same trap's kind of awkward in a deck that doesn't have really ways to use it. Yeah. Like, my entire game plan based on my opening hand was trying to win with Geist, but like, I don't really have any way to... It's your turn. Like, I don't have any way to use Geist, so... Really awkward. Draw. That was a good draw. I'll dress you. Mm. I'll stubborn denial it. I don't want you to see my other card. Right, path your hurting angels and attack you with this plus an angel. And I think that denialing there, um, Actually, you could have pathed in response and then paid the one, just to be able to see this card. Oh yeah, I should have done. Um, yeah, I should have done that. I mean, if right. you're not casting anything, you should have. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not casting anything. Right, else. Yeah, because well, it's it's, Another hunt it's just very good for me to hide the yeah, second hunt master from sure. you. All right, so I'll, I take six and go to ten. Yep. Oh. Just play that so you go. All right, trigger. Come on, Daddy wants a new car. Ten. Three. Play a hunt master. Get a wolf. Go to twelve. Go ahead. Do you have steal the godhead? Because that would be gross. Draw. Oh man, that second hunt master in hand is really quite unfortunate. Yeah, that card's great. I don't know why I was ragging on it. I just didn't realize how good it was going to be against Path Exile. I wish I'd still got it. That would be great. <laughs> Did you board in the second one? No. Well, I don't know how I possibly win this game, but we'll try. It probably involves... Damnation and Supreme Verdict. <laughs> also, I didn't know we had these, and these wolves are super cute. And it's foil. I don't think the wolves are cute at all. I think they're annoying. Really <laughs> annoying. <laughs> they're, um, they're about as cute as the soldiers off of Timely Reinforcements. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm sure there's a way... I'm supposed to play here to maximize my chances. Oh, Hoots Magoots hanging out in the exile pile. All right, I'm going to take a maybe a greedy line. 
No detention sphere in the wolf. Attack you, the ghost. Hmm. I'll block. Sure. Take four. I'll bite. I go to eight and you're at ten? Yep. I will... Play this. I'm going to say go, but I'm going to upkeep path here. Insectile. My opening hand was Inquisition, two pass, and a Geist. But, it is true. Well, okay. you had the Mana League, so I had to take your Mana League. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just really awkward. And then Path was just so bad when you had Huntmaster. <laughs> just ramping you into Huntmaster. I think there's one more island. There should be four basics. Yeah. So now we're basically on just having a top deck pretty well. So 10 to 10. Go ahead. I'm not going to fetch here because I'm still going to respect Blood Moon and getting an island if I need to. Should have fetched there. Go. Am I just dead? Trigger. Yeah, I'm just dead. Yeah. This is 4, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, it just kills you in this. Right. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, looting mandrills. All right. Well, uh, those were games of modern you could play. That's true. Those are some modern games that we just played. And I'm not sure how the brackets <laughs> lined up in the IQ, but this could have already happened. That's true. This could have been a match that <laughs> did happen. So, And I imagine if so, he brought in his Huntmaster of the Fells and won because that card was great. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, and he, This guy probably lost to Huntmaster of the Fells and <laughs> was really sad about it. So uh, the Zer deck was fun. I Zer himself was actually probably the worst card in the deck. Yeah, it felt and like ge ge geist. Like it felt like this deck falls into one of the common fallacies that um, I see a lot of people fall into when they are. I don't want to say just starting to get into competitive magic, but people that have that independent spirit and want to make their own decks. Um, a lot of times, you just end up making a worse version of something that already exists. Yeah. And at that point, why aren't you just playing the correct version of that thing that already exists? So yeah. like this is basically just an Esper control deck with cards in it that aren't conducive to being an Esper control deck. Yeah. Like this is probably like, just better as the Esper like mentor. Yeah, like the monastery mentor deck. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'll say too is another another trap that people fall into is uh, envisioning best case scenarios and ignoring like normal play scenarios. Yeah. So for example, with this deck, like you're like. Well, there's the situation where I get to attack with Zer and put a Thassa in play. But the thing is, is that's, that's kind of a best case scenario. If you're attacking with Zer, you're already winning the game. Yeah. You don't have to have Thassa in your deck to search up with Zer. Like you, you can, there's, there's gotta be better things there, you know? You're, you're already winning at that point in time, so. And it's because the rest of the deck around you has controlled the game to that point. Right. Not because of the Zer itself. So at that point, should the Zer just be like a Tassiger or a Monastery Mentor that's going to be more effective at finishing the game. Or a Restoration Angel or something. Yeah, or just something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and the, like you, you think of the best case scenario, like I get to attack with my Xur, find a Thassa and make it unblockable, or, you know, all, all these like best case scenarios. But then you forget the scenario where your opponent has an Eidolon of the Great Revel and a Goblin Guide in play. You're at 12 life and you draw Thassa God of the Sea. <laughs> <laughs> and you're Ugh. like, uh, wish that was anything else. Yeah. Um, but I will say that this deck was a blast to play, and it did top eight the open, so uh, it does have some play to it, and uh, it, it is it is a lot of fun. My one real criticism is that it just has way too many cards that cost three. Yeah. It just feels way too three heavy, um, and I also feel like Geist of Saint Traft is not good in a deck that's not actively a Geist deck. Like, like I'm trying to clear the way. If you're going to play Geist of Saint Traft, your deck has to be a Geist of Saint Traft deck. Where you have lightning bolts and like burn spells to go with Geist that can clear the way for Geist or 
take advantage of the free four damage that Geist is always going to get you. Yeah, um, something like Path Bolt Snapcaster to go alongside your Geist. Exactly. Like that's why we see blue, white, red as the, the the predominant Geist deck because those are the colors that can actually like pr push Geist through mm -hmm. and that can take advantage of the damage from Geist. You know, people fetch shock so much in this format uh, that sometimes your opponent's at eleven life and you haven't done anything to them yet. Yeah. And a single Geist attack plus like Bolt Bolt Snap Bolt is enough to kill them. Uh, whereas a deck like this can't take advantage of that. You know, you can attack once with Geist and put him at seven, and then you're relying on a one-four flyer to try to finish the job. Yeah, Geist is really only good when you're putting steel on it in this deck, which is like a one of. You have one more on your board. Uh, yeah, it just just se seemed a little awkward. Plus, you'll run into, you know, random things like Hun Master of the Fells that Geist just lines up very poorly against if you don't have the support for it. Yeah. So I think there's there's other ways to build this um, that can that can take advantage. You can still play Zur, uh, but I probably wouldn't play Geist. And I, I'd probably play uh, a more controlling game plan. And, you know, you can... There's other enchantments out there that you can be playing as well. And, and just play, uh, you know, things like that. So, and, and try, to, try to play a more controlling game plan rather than having these guys that really don't fit the theme of the deck at all. Fair enough. Uh, as for the Teamer deck, uh, it actually was really sweet. Um, yeah. It was very interesting... Uh, being able to utilize cards like Huntmaster uh, because you had Path to Exile on your deck. Like, this deck only has 17 lands in it, so the odds of casting Huntmaster are very low. But because you have Path and I have such aggressive creatures like Delver of Secrets and Hooting Mandrills, like, you're going to have to aggressively Path them, which allow me to curve into Huntmaster, which is really interesting. And I really want to give props to the guy on the design for the deck because I don't think enough decks are designed with their post-board configuration in mind against other decks' post-board configuration. Yeah. Like, I think that's something that a lot of people don't do enough in Magic, including myself, that is a very valuable skill uh, that we should all be working on. Yeah, I mean, it's really important to... Um, you know, you see that in Standard a lot, too, sometimes where, you know, if I'm playing Abzan Control and I have three Drowned Sorrows on my board and I play against Jeskai Tokens, there are going to be some games where I don't even board in any Drowned Sorrows. Because yeah. they're going to be playing this, like, Ojutai game or Narset or mm -hmm. whatever. And it's just like, you know, or maybe I only board in one or two drowns. I'm not all in on it. It's like, that's just, you have to board against not what you see in game one, but what you expect to see in the, sec in the second and third games. Absolutely. And what, what I was pointing on more so is the building of the sideboard with other people's post-board configuration in mind. Like, yeah. this deck has Huntmaster and its board with 17 lands because Huntmaster is going to be great and castable against decks with Path Exile on them. Yeah. Like, you don't see that very that kind of thinking very often, and it's kind of cool that that's where this deck was. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's definitely pretty sweet. As for the rest of the deck, uh, loved Hooting Mandrills. Hooting uh, seemed great. Loved, uh, like, the Thought Scour engine. Yeah. Huntmaster's out of the board. Not a huge fan of the Disrupting Shoals. Uh, the, like, your... You just have like a bunch of ones and twos that you're going to be able to use with it to counter stuff. So against something like Burn, I think it would be great. But against the vast majority of the decks, I think you're going to be missing on a lot. Yeah, yeah. So I, so I don't know if I would be on Disrupting Shoal. Um, everything else actually seemed great. Like I never drew or cast Simic Charm and boarded it out here in this particular matchup, but the card actually seems pretty sweet. Yeah, and I think that another card too that seems great in that silo deck is Vapor Snag. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems... Phenomenal with Hooting Mandrills. You attack with your Mandrills. It's probably bigger than all their guys. They might have to double block. And you can snag one of their guys and then trample over for the rest. Or, or Absolutely. Just, or even if they just single block. You know, you know, they have a Siege Rhino or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or some, you know, Tazigur. You can attack with your Hooting Mandrills at Goyf and something else. And they're like, you know, if they, if they don't block your Hooting Mandrills, sure, that's fine. If they yeah. do, you can just snag it and just still get in for the full four damage. The other thing that I w would want to see in a deck like this, if I were to play it moving forward in modern, is some number of fork bolts in the 75. Yeah. I think that with the number of decks trying to abuse Collected Company, be it Abzan with the combo or the Elf deck, fork bolt stock is just continuing to go up. Uh, I think you definitely want to have access to some somewhere in the 75 because those are the kinds of decks that are going to get out ahead of you and take over the game before you can play like play Hooding Mandrills and get value out of it. Yeah, fork bolt seems great. You know, maybe even Electricery could be fine, too. I mean... Yeah, definitely a, definitely a great sideboard card right now, I think. Yeah. People are underutilizing it. There are a lot of 
uh, Heritage Druids, Noble High Arc, Birds of Paradise seem play right now. Electric Reef seems real good. Yeah, and I think another card along those veins too is <coughs> I, I think Zealous Persecution is at like an all-time high in modern right now. Yeah, for if sure. You're, if you're playing a deck that can cast that card. Like this uh, one? <laughs> yep. Like this one, for example. <laughs> I mean, this deck could be playing Lingering Souls and Persecutions and stuff. Yeah. So... But yeah, Persecution is is great just as a way to control your opponent's board, but also kills people out of nowhere a lot. People t tend to forget the plus one, plus one clause on it. Yeah, it is. It is a surprising combat swing. It, it almost feels like, you know, you have this board of giant monsters and your opponent has a board of, like, little dinky creatures and suddenly Elish Norn's in play, and all of a sudden it's like, you're, what just happened? Dead. Yeah. That's how, that's how Zell's Persecution It's like feels. a mid-combat bonfire of the damned. <laughs> yeah, because, like, all of a sudden, you know, it's it's not only, like their creatures get smaller, but yours getting bigger as well just creates these situations where, like, suddenly your 2-3 into their 4-5 is, like, you know, just bouncing off each other, trading, or you're actually winning the combat, depending on the creatures and stuff, too. So it's actually it's actually a really good card. Sweet. Uh, so there's a modern IQ here this weekend at the Star City Game Center. True. Do we, can we expect to see BBD battling on Xur the Enchanter? No, there's a good chance I'll be uh, putting in Malira's, Viscera Seer's. Yeah, just the boring stuff you've been doing the entire time in Modern? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, so this weekend... Boring. boring. I'll just... It's extremely boring. I mean, I play Pod too. Uh, this weekend, there isn't anything going on at all in the Magic world. We decided to take a week off. Um, because it's probably one of the biggest weekends in Magic history. Yeah. Uh, there is three Grand Prix that are happening across the world. Uh, Las Vegas... Yurik and Chiba yep. uh, for the Modern Masters 2 uh, release. Uh, and uh, if any of you that are going, I hope you have a great time. I expect there to be almost 10,000 people playing in the tournament in Las Vegas. It's already over 7,000 pre-registered. Yeah, pre-registered. Uh, last I saw, there were almost at almost 8,000 people, which yeah. is unbelievable. <laughs> and as much as I love magic, I don't like 8,000 people crowds. No, so, neither do I. Yeah. So I... I it's not my cup of tea, but I definitely expect a lot of people to have a lot of great time. Uh, make sure you enjoy it to the fullest and get your hands on all those modern cards so you can battle modern. Uh, the format is here to stay, and it is just growing rapidly. Yep. Um, we actually have a Grand Prix coming up in two weeks, three weeks Charlotte. in Charlotte that will be modern, and I expect it to be giant. Modern is the thing. In fact, all of our modern IQs, this year, the the premier IQs have been bigger than whatever other premier IQ that they've been. Even the standard with. one. Even the standard ones, they've been bigger. Yeah, so people people really enjoy modern, and um, I won't say that it's. I, I think legacy is a better format than modern, personally. <laughs> uh, but I do in, actually enjoy playing modern. I know a lot of people don't don't like modern, but that's not that's. I'm not in that boat. I actually enjoy it. There's a lot of fun things you can do. Um, my really only complaint with the format is I really hate fetch fetch into shocklands. Like I it just I'd rather either be fetching duels or not doing it at all. But that's just a personal <laughs> thing. Um, I mean, you could always just play a deck that doesn't have any fetch lands or shocklands. Yeah, them. but then I'm playing like Affinity or something like that. You could also just be playing Primeval Titan. That's true. That is true. Sh you shuffle just as much. If not more than having fetch into shock, yeah. But you don't have to worry about changing your life total. That is true. So, uh, outside of the modern master shenanigans this weekend, there will be plenty of IQs, super IQs, lead IQs, all over the U.S. So make sure you check out uh, StarCityGames.com. We have a little ticker on the right that shows you where all those events are, uh, so you can figure out where they're going to be and you can go battle if you're not going to be in. Las Vegas or somewhere overseas playing Modern Masters. Uh, I know myself will be traveling a little bit on Saturday, uh, somewhere in Tennessee, I think. And then on Sunday, there's a Super IQ here that I'm going to be blooming it up. <laughs> that deck is great. It's going to be killing people on turn two. Yeah, and then I get to go to Arby's and get a roast beef sandwich. That sounds great. It does sound great. Uh, <laughs> so for those of you who are watching on YouTube and not StarCityGames.com, underneath our smiling Beautiful faces here. There are some scrolling panels you can click on for previous BBD versus CVMs, as well as uh, you should like and subscribe to the channel and let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, next week, I believe we're going to do standard in preparation for the Invitational. Yep. That will be in Columbus at the Origins Game Fair yep. in Ohio. We'll have Matthias, Cedric, and Patrick Sullivan doing commentary. And it's pretty exciting because that weekend it's going to be modern and standard. First ever first modern. Ever, yeah. Be the first ever modern invita invitational. And then the two day 20K 
open on Saturday is also modern. Yeah. Which is the first one of those that we've had, I believe. Second one. Okay, the second one of those. We had, we had one in Baltimore earlier this Oh, year. we did have one in Baltimore. I remember that. I lost real bad. I lost playing for day two as well. That was sad. It was gross. No. So make sure you come and hang out with us there in Columbus. Uh, at the very least, to come check out the Origins Game Fair. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, so I think that's it for us. Make sure you let us know what you want to see next week. I know there hasn't been any big innovations in Standard lately. Um, but, I mean, people like seeing magic, so. Yeah, let us know what you want to see. And also let us know what you want to see uh, for Modern the week after. We'll probably be back playing Modern again. Yeah, big preparation for Columbus. We're going to be playing some Modern. It's actually going to be an absurd amount of Modern content on StarCityGames.com as we lead into Columbus. So make sure you check it out. Yep. That's it. See you next week. See ya.